Ag AM in Kansas is brought to you in part by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. It's fair season for many kids in Jackson County, and one program in 4-H is working to include as many people as possible. The 4-H Ambassador Program works to ensure 4-H kids get the most out of their program and promote 4-H around the community. Well, my name's Tristan Parks. I am, this is my first year in the Ambassador Program. And there's only, two, there's only two men in the Jackson County Ambassadors, myself and Dean Clare. And then there's also uh, Macy Putnam, Elizabeth Roach, Cassidy Dahl, Danica Haverkamp, uh, Caitlin Megason, uh, Anna Dunn. It's Wednesday afternoon at the fair and many exciting things are happening. Uh, right now we're here at the uh, exhibit hall of the Jackson County Fair. Um, right, we're sitting here amongst all the photos and vegetables and projects that have been submitted. And we're we're uh, getting ready for the Barnyard Olympics and tonight's going to be our fair parade and it should be a pretty fun time. Uh, projects that I brought this year, I took a swine project and a beef project. In my swine project, I uh, I placed uh, third in the showmanship as well as receiving champion lightweight crossbred market hog and for my steer I received champion main on juice steer. The ambassadors work with several people in the community to tell the story of 4-H. Well the ambassador program we're the ones who go out and uh, intermingle with not only our own district but other districts as well. We, we meet with other people from different counties see what they're doing see what new ideas they're bringing into the 4-H environment and we try to keep a fresh perspective on things within this organization and we try to make things, we try to keep things organized and yet fun and energetic as well. We're the ones who oversee uh, in shows, we assist in overseeing the shows and we um, help out, we help out with distributing prizes, ribbons and trophies and such things and we also do many, uh, we also help with a lot of fun activities like this afternoon we're going to be doing the Barnyard Olympics for some of the younger kids which is just a little ag, uh, a bunch of ag related games and so we do a lot of leadership roles within the 4-H organization. The ambassadors have many mediums that they use to present to the public about what the 4-H ambassadors do. Well we have a we have a booth up at the fair, all, most all of the 4-H clubs have a booth but we also set up an ambassador booth and we help and we just help publicize 4-H and what it is and how it's not necessarily only an ag-centered uh, organization, but however you can do other things as well. You can do cooking, photography, uh, stuff with your garden. It's, it's really a thing that anyone could do if they wanted to. The ambassadors also adapt their techniques to include using 21st century methods to entangle younger generations to join, such as Facebook and Twitter. We have a, a Facebook page and a Twitter page and we keep we keep friends within, we make friends within the community, we have people follow our pages and we keep people updated on what's going on, what activities are coming up and make sure that we can use that avenue of communication to better inform the public. Tristan enjoys his time in 4-H and has learned he can use the skills he's developed in 4-H to help improve the community around him and jumpstart his career. 4-H you not learn not only a bunch of, about the agriculture industry but you also learn a lot of social skills. You interact with others, you get to know them, you learn to you learn to communicate better and you learn time management and just a lot of essential things that you can use later on, not just in a 4-H setting. After the break, we interview Joel Nelson, a 4-H'er from Jackson County, about balancing his schedule between FFA and 4-H. Can't get enough of Farm Factor? Log into Facebook and like our Ag Aim in Kansas page to get more information from the latest on agriculture news. Stay tuned. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484.